following the recipe. The first ingredient isn't necessarily the most important, is it? Correct. Nor is the last ingredient necessarily the least of importance. Correct. Right? It's just, but what is important is the, is the order in which you put your ingredients in. Is that important? I, you found in some of your breads that it makes better bread if you put water to your flour rather than flour to your water. Right. Or yeah, whatever. like I said, it's... So it's not necessarily the amount of what ingredient, because you change that. Mm -hmm. you know, but it is important to follow the right... Sequence. Sequence, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Well... It's the same way with Second Peter. Where'd it go? Add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance. And we've got to add the right thing there at the right, you know, in the right order. I agree. I believe that Solomon is a perfect example of even though he w had wisdom, should he have had knowledge first? Or should knowledge have come second? And did he not add knowledge but should have come second? Did he forget virtue? Um, no, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Obviously none of us really know. but. <laughs> Well, you know, the first part is the first ingredient, and it's not necessarily the most important, but in this case it probably is faith. We've got to have faith. And God gives us all faith. Well, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And God gives us that. And that he gives us that base ingredient right there. Um, then we go on to virtue. And add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge. Second Peter one five. Since Scripture is inspired by the Holy Spirit, each word is of great significance, and the order of words should not be overlooked. A common mistake is to add knowledge to faith, without first adding virtue. Such an attempt is counterproductive, for knowledge without virtue is dangerous. Amen to that. Mm. The word virtue means, do we remember? Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, hi. Moral excellence. Some who have virtue will separate, someone who has virtue will separate from everything that is not morally excellent. Failure to do so is the root of most problems in the lives of Christians. A respected Christian leader has said one of the greatest causes of diminishing the potential of our lives is the failure to turn from all the thoughts, words, and actions which we know grieve the Spirit of God. Either a person separates himself from sin, <clears throat> or his sin will separate him from the fellowship with God. Many people wonder why God does not answer their prayers even when they exercise faith. The first step given in 2 Peter. The Bible assures us that the Lord's hand is not short, uh, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Isaiah 59 1. The next verse, however, explains why God sometimes refuses to hear or consider certain prayers. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Isaiah 59 2.
in addition to exercising faith, then it is necessary to, to develop virtue or to cut off everything that is displeasing to God. Though a person may not struggle with gross outward sins, such as murder, adultery, stealing, and lying, he especially needs to examine himself in the areas of... Of what? Virtue. The things that we... Think about. Think about. Some of the things that we... Talk. Words and our, the way we treat others, our attitudes, thoughts, words, and attitudes. <clears throat> if a person knows he is not as fruitful as he should be for God, if he, is, if he sometimes feels insecure in his relationship with the Lord, or if he knows that he is not experiencing a, consist, a consistently abundant life, it is apparent that at some point he is violating the progression given by Second Peter. In many cases, problems develop in the second step. The people want to put knowledge after faith and before virtue. Do we need to put virtue first? We need to put our faith, and God gives us all the faith that we need. First. Then virtue, then then virtue, then, then knowledge. Yeah, <clears throat> you got to put things, get things in the right order. So oftentimes we got to get things out of whack. Mm -hmm. Like first thing in the morning, we come downstairs. What do you guys want to do? Play. Play. When we come downstairs in the morning, what's the first thing we do? Say stop. <laughs> we don't play first thing in the morning, do we? No. Get coffee ready. No. <laughs> this is what we say. No, we'll, make, we'll make our cakes. This is what we say. We have our quiet time in the morning, don't we? And this is what we say. Too early. Too early. We have our quiet time, don't we? Mama usually goes up and prays. Daddy reads. You guys look at books. Books. Now, if we let you guys start the day off right away playing, then we get things out of sync, don't we? We get things out of whack. Mm -hmm. The ship goes. That's the same way with Second Peter. If we get knowledge before virtue, things are getting out of whack. Mm -hmm. We gotta make sure we keep things in order. Blue. Yeah. But we need to work on separating ourselves from things that God doesn't like. We need to watch out what we... Daddy, need to get this thing out that God doesn't like. That's right. What we need to watch what we think. See? And, and our attitude. Right. And Daddy. Mommy? She's he's got both of them over there. They're both melting in his hands. <clears throat> that was pretty nice. Mommy. You're okay. <laughs> Hold the doggy paw. Father, we love and praise you this morning. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for your goodness, God. Father, I do pray that we would keep um, just keep things in sync. You know, keep things in their places. Keep things in their proper places. Father, help us to you know, think the right thoughts, say the right words, have the right attitude towards you, Father, in each other. God, we love you and praise you today. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.